Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today's tutorial is on the soft glam look, super easy and beginner friendly. So basically I'm showing you how to go from drab to fab in a very easy way. And all the products that I've used in here in this tutorial are from Online Makeup Academy. Basically, if you don't know who they are, think of them as an online makeup school that gives you one-on-one -on -one attention, sits with you and helps you get certified. And it's taught by some of the best of the best from New York City industry professionals. And everything is done online. So it doesn't matter which part of the world you are, you can still get certified as a makeup artist and start a successful career in the industry. And there are so many different programs to accommodate everybody. You can do just the basic fundamentals. You can do an advanced course course including celebrity fashion editorial bridal and included in the tuition fee is an amazing makeup kit you probably have everything that you need in this kit of course you don't need to use this but these are some of the best products you'll see the quality because i'll be using it in my tutorial today or you can also do sfx so whatever you prefer and at the convenience of your time they never hurry you to finish up or submit assignments on time so you can take your time you can take it slow especially if you're doing other things like going to school or work and you don't have the time you can go at your pace the main difference between a youtuber like me who's trying to teach you versus an online school like that is one you can learn to do makeup on someone else other than yourself and become a pro makeup artist and second they give you that one-on-one -on -one attention with personalized videos such as this one Smitha, welcome to Online Makeup Academy. My name is Alona and I'm a tutor here. So I'll be seeing your work, your progress and giving you tips on how you can improve. And if you feel like you're a pro at makeup, so you don't want to sign up for any of those courses, but you suck at hairstyling, they have a course for that as well. So if you've been waiting this long to get certified by an amazing makeup academy or become a professional makeup artist and learn from basic to advanced to SFX, what have you, you can check them out. I've listed their website and social media links in the description box below. And I'd like to take this moment to thank Online Makeup Academy for partnering, collaborating, with me on this tutorial and also sponsoring it and as i mentioned i'm going to be using all these professional products from the academy to create this super easy soft glam so you can do it too let's start with skin prep as usual that is the first step so i'm going to be using the step one primer this is a skin equalizer from makeup forever and this will help your skin to balance out the texture the tone the smoothness and even make it a little bit sticky so whatever you apply on top of this will cling on to your skin and last longer and then i'm going to move on to color correction and neutralizing some areas on my skin where there are dark patches or uneven skin tone and for that i'm using the camouflage palette this is from eye magic i'm going to use the orange corrector and the brush that i'm using is a flat shader brush that came along with the brush set sent by online makeup academy this camouflage palette is pretty creamy it's paraben free and non-irritating and as you can see it helps to neutralize all the uneven skin tones and patches that i have on my skin so it preps your skin pretty well before we move on to the next step i always like to set this with a little bit of powder so i'm using this one from inglot it's just a loose setting powder i like to set it so it doesn't mix with the foundation that's coming up next and the brush that I'm using is actually a foundation brush again came with the same set the foundation I'm using one of my all-time favorites like in my lifetime uh, that's quite a statement but I used to use this on brides all the time when I used to freelance this is the ultra HD foundation by makeup forever I'm just trying to be a little fancy shancy today and using the metal plate that they sent me and this is a stippling brush easiest way is to stipple especially when you have color correction you don't want to use a harsh brush and drag and pull the foundation on you because that's going to mix with the orange corrector and you'll start looking orange and you don't want that the foundation shade that i am using is desert and for reference i'm an nc35 with mac For concealer, I'm using this Full Cover Extreme Camouflage Cream Concealer from Makeup Forever. The Academy sends you three different shades. So I'm going to be using two different shades today, one to contour as well as one to highlight and conceal. For contouring, I'm going to be using shade number 18, which is chocolate. And I'm going to be using it in the usual areas like the hollows of my cheekbones, my jawline, my forehead. And I'm going to just stipple it in using a stippling brush, a smaller one this time. And to contour my nose, I'm using a flat shader brush. Yeah. 
and to conceal and highlight i'm using a lighter shade this is the shade number seven which is light brown and again i'm going to be using this on the highest points of my face as well as in areas where i want to conceal like my dark circles and to apply it i'm going to be using a damp sponge Using the setting powder from Inglot, I'm going to set in areas where I applied the concealer first to prevent it from creasing and then I'm going to lightly dust the powder all over my face and neck to set it. And then to lock the base makeup in, I'm going to be using the Inglot Makeup Fixer. This is a setting mist. So this will help also to melt all those powders on your face and make it look more like skin. For my brows, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Palette. I'm using the deepest shade in here and I'm going to apply it using a soft angled brush and focus in areas where I have those sparse and bald spots uh, first on the top part of my brows and then in the lower part of my brows and then to clean up underneath the brows I'm again using the Makeup Forever Concealer in the shade 7 I'm lightly setting my lid to prevent the concealer from creasing this is optional if you don't have too many fine lines or you know crease lines you don't have to do this with the set, I received two different eyeshadow palettes. One is the Eye Magic eyeshadow palette, which is absolutely beautiful. Look at those colors. They look so rich. But today I'm going to be using the Online Makeup Academy eyeshadow pro palette just to test out the texture, the color, the pigment payoff and just how it blends. I'm going to first dip into the soft brown shade and place it in the outer and inner corners using a blending brush. And then I'm going to blow it out and soften it. I'm going to focus the eyeshadows in the corners and leave the center of the lid blank for a shimmery shade. What I'm trying to do here is to build a spotlight eye look. You know, it almost looks like a spotlight right in the center of the lid where we'll be using a shimmery shade which will draw more light, more attention to the center of the lid and that'll look like a spotlight. Next, I'm dipping into this berry shade and I'm going to focus the shade in the corners and not buff it out as much as I did with the previous eyeshadow. And again, I'm using the same blending brush, doing the same exact thing that I did previously, but I'm going to focus the eyeshadow to deepen the corners. And then I'm going to repeat the two steps in my lower lash line as well. First, dipping into the brown shade using a flat shader brush. I'm going to buff it out in the corners and then I'm going to dip into the berry shade and I'm going to focus on deepening the corners in my lower lash line. And for that spotlight right in the center of the lid, I'm picking this beautiful metallic shade. I'm not sure how much the camera catches, but it's a duochrome. On one side, it looks like a pink rose gold and on the other side, it's a pure gold. And I'm applying it with a flat shader brush. It's a dry brush. I haven't even wet the brush and you can see the pigment payoff. It's absolutely stunning. It's a showstopper. And I'm going to repeat the same in the center of my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Inglot Gel Liner, best of the best. I'm going to be using this in the waterline as well as to line my top lash line, pulling out a small wing in the outer corner. For that extra brightness, I'm going to be using this shade to highlight my inner corners as well as brow bones using a small flat shader brush. It's time to finish up with some mascara and false lashes. For mascara, I'm using this one from Makeup Forever. And then using these false lashes again by the Makeup Academy. As you can see, it's not overwhelming. Although it's a beautiful spotlight eye, it's not in your face. It looks stunning. You feel like staring at the eyes because the colors are so beautiful, but it's not overwhelming or too strong. It still stays neutral, a beautiful rose gold. So this is something that you can use as a soft glam to special events and it look absolutely stunning with any outfit that you wear. Now let's finish rest of the face before we reveal the completed look. First, to add a little bit of dimension on my cheekbones, I'm going to be using the Proline Contour Palette again from the Academy. I'm just choosing the contour shade to go over my cream contour.
and from the proline blush palette i'm going to be using this shade of blush For highlighter, I'm going to be using Master Chrome by Maybelline just because I love this fan brush. Look at the size of the fan brush. It's so easy to apply with it. They also sent me the Proline Lip Palette. Look at those beautiful colors. And nice thing is you can make your own color by mixing a couple different lipsticks. You have the metal plate anyway. Today, I'm going to be using this shade. Using a lip brush, I'm going to be only applying it in the borders because I want my lips also looking very soft today. And right in the center, I'm going to be using a lip gloss. For the center, the lip gloss that I'll be using is the Inglot High Gloss Lip Oil. Look at that shine so beautiful i know that the camera catches some of it but it's nothing close to what you see in person let's look at the before one more time and here is the after i hope you guys enjoyed this video and like this look please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video that only helps to support my channel and me and you guys know that i'm forever thankful and i love you guys so very much wholeheartedly i'm still on a break by the way as promised i had to post one video so here it is i did the voiceover yesterday but this is a pre-recorded video if you'd like more information on the online makeup academy and how to get certified as a professional makeup artist i've listed those links in the description box below so make sure to check that out you'll also find my socials there so if you're not following me there already you may want to for a little bit of update here and there and more personalized chats. I love you guys so much and hopefully I see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys.